Ramen di biji kan, dak dolly aja kenil, dolly aja kenil ni. Oh, yet makan roti dolly, anang baru ni jong, yet. Have you ever had to protect your children from people coming to take them away? Corona ni, kal ini jo, yet tur lancin ni. Kebet dia golci, kolaj itu kebet dia golci. Anya golci mager dua orang tu, mabu golci mana wen borre borol, madu madol, kafu ya bu kafu Korea, kado mana dol. Have you ever abducted a child? Eh. Close to 20,000 kids were forced to fight in South Sudan's six-year civil war. Now that it's over, many of those kids have gone home. But thousands more children are still missing, and a centuries-old practice of selling them as brides or laborers continues to this day. Well, it is, of course, uh, become a business. If someone managed to get child from the neighboring community, he's going to, to take the child to the market. It's become part of livelihood. David Yao Yao is a former warlord who's responsible for rounding up close to 2,000 kids, some as young as 10, to fight. We cannot talk of, uh, of that uh, kind of inhuman acts because sometimes... Five years ago, he disbanded his rebel group. In the past, you've also taken child soldiers, you know, to fight on your behalf. Now you've taken the position that you want to stop these child abductions. How do you reckon with that in your mind? We stand at everything, you know. The children that were, were demobilized. He used that one act, demobilizing his army of child soldiers, to burnish his reputation and get himself appointed governor. He's now working in and around the capital of Pibor, a town infamous for child abduction. Well, you know, people like, like Paul, who was in the Bible, so he used to be a bad man originally. But eventually, when he was, when he was called by God, he became a strong preacher that changed a lot of lives. And he did a lot of destruction before. We realized that it was totally wrong. So we need to, we need to apply all the, all the efforts to, to be able to bring back children and return to their, their owners. Have you been successful in, in returning any of these kids back to their parents? Since 2018, we managed to recover about 54 children across the neighboring communities. No one knows how many kids have been abducted and sold as laborers. There's no reliable data on how many were able to get home to their families or how many are still missing. Patrick Jadatongun and Patrick Omian were taken from their families in 2008 when they were just eight years old. They take us to be as they are children. I am a Kalam. Omian managed to escape soon after he was kidnapped. But Tongun wasn't so lucky. He was sold by his captors for 50 cows and taken to Pibor. Tongun spent the next decade tending cattle for the family who bought him. It took him 10 years to convince them to let him go to the cattle market, 150 miles closer to his parents' home. That's how he was able to get away. What was the hardest part about being back at home? Lisabira
Alan Jager and the rest of the group use AK 47s to hunt. Even though automatic weapons aren't normally used to take down antelope. But these weapons flooded South Sudan during the country's multiple conflicts. Now they're being used to steal kids as well. Child abduction is a reliable way to make money in a country where 80% of its people live on less than a dollar a day. Why do the Merle abduct children? Someone takes your kids, and then you're taking their kids as retaliation. That's how this works? You don't sell them to families for cattle? Do you know anybody that has sold children for cattle? Ten years ago, two of Mario Leo's six children were taken during a cattle raid. What do you know about the people that took your kids from you? The South Sudanese government has made little effort to locate or return children like Mary's, with the exception of one governor, former warlord David Yao Yao. <laughs> What promises did you make to Mary? She has to, you know, stay strong with us until we recover back the children. So those are the promises that we give to Mary. Does it ever come to a point where you're, you're going to have to tell Mary or other parents like her that there is no hope? Sometimes it happens. Mary, after meeting with David Yao Yao, how do you feel about the prospect of ever seeing your kids again? Mm. He's only been successful at getting about 54 kids back. Does that worry you that you're ever going to see your kids again? Mm. 